Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, boils and gor gorals. Uh, we are going to be playing some Sultai action here today. This was submitted by Sammy, otherwise known as Relax and Sam. 25 lands, which is a lot in modern. Got two creeping tar pits, two scrying sheets, though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six snow covered lands. Along with Watery Grave, Misted. Uh, I feel like we do want some number of Prismatic Vistas in here. Maybe. We have, what, Polluted Delta? Yeah, like we can take out one Delta. Well, I don't think we own them. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just keep them in for now. If we feel like we need them, we need them, then we'll put them in. But right now, I'm not going to go through the whole thing to get them. Uh, Mana Leak, Snapcaster, Ice Fang are our two drops. Um, Serum Visions and Astrolabe are one drops. We have Liliana, Dead of Winter, and Archmage's Charm at three. Jason, Cryptic Command at four. Logic Knot, Hydroid Crassus, and Nissa Hydroid Crassus. Super interesting inclusion. I was saying that with Ice Fang, Codals, Snapcasters, and Hydroid Crassus, um, I'd be interested in having something like Fallen Shinobi in the deck. Uh, collective collector sideboard should be in the sideboard. That doesn't. I don't even know what that means. It's like you're. It's like you're drunk right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Collector roof is an option. Thought seize is an option. Like all kind. There's all kinds of things we can put in our sideboard. Um, I, I'd like to know what we're missing right now. Well, we have nature's claim and force of negation for Tron. Like if we're just able to counter their spells, it's fine. But we'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna play some matches, see what happens. I'd like to uh, figure out where the deck is lacking before we start going ham on it. Okay, so we want three blue sources. I'll keep this. So we can go. Hmm. The problem is in order to get a blue on turn three, we need to not play Blooming Marsh until turn four. But so we'll just get like a breeding pool here. We also have a snow cover forest. I, I don't like. I don't really love blooming marsh here. But just because you have so many blue cards and like a, a black, eh, I don't know. Oh, get a load of get a little astrolabe turn one. I'm just gonna get a basic snow covered island. Let's make this larger snow covered island. Seems good. I will also... See, now I don't feel bad about the Blooming Marsh. Ooh, I see. All right. Why won't my pet hamster give me his network Netflix password? Are you contributing in any way to the Netflix bill for, for your hamster? Because if not, I just think you're being... I just think you're being kind of greedy. You're just being selfish. How do you feel about dogs acting like monkeys to solicit banana treats? I did not know they did that. I don't think I feel bad about it. I think I approve. Um, you know, they got to do what they got to do, really. Dogs have to do what they got to do to survive. I approve of their methods because I'm a fan of their, their species. But, um... Hmm. Assuming the hamster lives, lives rent-free is a pretty safe assumption, I think. I think you capitalize hamster because it's, you're respectful. Lay that pistol down. <laughs> How do you feel about the video that I just texted you? Okay, hold on. Nigel. Hey. 
I feel very good about it. I feel very good about it. I'm a fan. Tell tell she Chris I'm a fan. How do you like your trash pandas today? What does that mean? Today? Was what does that mean? What are you saying right now? Matthew Ori, what's going on, buddy? guy. Hi, my name is Sai. My guy died. He's in the trash can. He's in the trash can. Chris has been texting me Nigel at the dog park videos all day today. That, that would kill my productivity too. I would also be super jealous. I would probably cry. I would just curl up in the fetal position at work and be like, I can't do it anymore. Bill Cry, the science guy. Are they going to crack that? I bet they are. Five cards in hand? Come on. Like, we need infinite blue for this Snapcaster Mage and this Archmage's Charm. Four blue. Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh. Well, that's something right there. I don't think we care about that. I have four blue, but I need five because I want five. Okay? Okay, buddy? Okay? Okay, Sassafras? Ooh, now we can just play this. Also, we don't have a ton of snow permanents, do we? Maybe we do. We got at least eight in creatures. I'm just gonna keep passing. I'm just gonna auto-yield to this. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Always reach for more than you need. Quoted from the Bible by Kim Jong-un. Sounds about right. I, I, I can't really... Uh... I can't really disagree with that. Mm, okay, well, not, not a thing. I guess we're just gonna keep passing. I thought they dealt us two, and I was like, wow, that's really aggressive. I had hungry hours yesterday, and I ate until I was disgusted with myself. I like it. That's solid. Oh, a Mox Opal. Wow, I'm really impressed right now. Do I just want to draw two cards? God, maybe. I feel like Dead of Winter could be in the sideboard. Um, yeah, see, I'm gonna have to counter this, right? They have two cards. Does this deck have counter spells? Uh, one, two, three, counter this thing. Put 
Put it in the trash can. Put it in the trash can. Can I just, do, do I just snapcast or I think we snapcast or mana leak here. They have one, two mana? Sure. Oh no, we don't have another blue source. Well, well, that's no good. I guess we're just gonna dead of winter here. I mean, they can't activate it anyway, so I guess that's fine. This is probably actually better because we might not have had a, a use for dead of winter otherwise. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, shoot. Oh, biscuits. What are they doing? Is our last card War of Invention? Holy Jesus. God. Hey, I know them from Mr. Frankel's stream. Oh, good. You're just going to get your Thopter foundry. Yeah, that's just fine. I guess we're just going to snap a trophy. And they have no cards left. Yep, we can go one or two. May our hearts be wild from now on. Uh, Sammy, you don't have to apologize, man. I'm literally trying to... I'm, I'm working on the deck right now. We're fixing the problems. If you sent me a perfect deck, then, like, I wouldn't even need to be here, right? Don't be ridiculous. Alistair Kane with the gifted sub to a very soft sheep. That is one soft, soft sheep. Chris, when you visit me, we can get Hungry Howies together. I'm really looking forward to it now. Alright, I'm just going to F6 here because I don't care what you're doing. How many? We have one, two, three, four, five snow permanents. We really need a six snow permanent here. Oh, they're just going to, like, go infinite with Urza? Sure. I mean, whatever. We can also get Boston Market. We can get Boston Market, and we can put it on our Hungry Howies. It's going to be... Is this... Wait, do they just go infinite here? And they can just Urza the whole time? Yeah, I think we're just dead. Okay, see, this is just me not knowing how to play against this stupid deck. Because they can tap all of their Thopters for mana and then activate the Urza infinite times. Do they have a way to win without attacking us, though? I don't know. Send me your address. I'll show up without you knowing like you try to do for my birthday. Yeah, and then my phone will be like, Chris is nearby. And I'll be like, got him. I mean... I want them to kill me though, because I don't know what the wind condition is here, so. Well, they can't do it again next turn, because I can just Urza. I can just Dead of Winter the Urza. But. <laughs> oh god, let's see this clip. That's that clip is actually surprisingly scarier. Thank you. Ha! 
House of Shadow, David, thank you so much. My sub babby is five months old. Where is my child support? Well, listen, buddy. Listen. Listen, buddy. Gotta go. Man, Urs is a hell of a drug. I don't even understand what's happening right now. Okay, so... Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Dead of winter things. This would never happen to me in real life. I wouldn't have to do all this. I would just have my opponent concede. Okay. All right, you got it. What are you hitting? Mox Opal. Okay. If people have been here for a long time, are they still chat noobs or are they are they chat spurts? Chat experts. Man, now I want Indian food. Oh, man, I'm gonna be stuck in this I'm gonna be stuck in streaming until the Indian food places are closed. Is this really what you want to do with your life? You just want to play these... You just want to... As I say, you may play that card until the end of the turn. You may play that card without paying some mana cost. Do you still have to... You still have to... Can you only play it during your turn? Can you play these anytime? I feel like you still have to do it within the timing restrictions, right? Is that not correct? Okay. Let's draw some cards and put some things back. One, two, three, ice codal. Uh, put you on top and then put you on top of that. Do, 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 do. So they can go, what does this guy cost? Four to activate. So they can go one, two, three, four. Get another thing. Ah. Uh only I knew someone in the chat who was going to get some Indian food and then I can go with them to get some Indian food. That sounds like it'd be a blast. That's where I want to be. Sure, you got it. All my cards are gone. What about ordering it? Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I can go get Indian food. It's pretty awkward for you though. Also, my favorite Indian place closed before I left Seattle, and it never opened again because they're remodeling and they moved, and I never it never reopened again before I left, so I never even got to have it again. It was called I think it was Curry and Kebab. I think. So now they're stuck with just regular mana though. Like they can only make regular mana guys. <sighs> Um, yeah, let's draw the three. Okay, so we're going to put you back and then put you back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Really wish I had, uh, 
What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. So this guy has to be a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. This guy has to be a six, six, or else he just dies, right? That's really sad. Oh, Katie, you're going to get Indian food? Huh. 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 Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? And keep going on. So they have nothing to really do here, right? So we can go Astrolabe. Wait, what's the top card? Top card is just a Crassus, right? Is it snow permanent? Dang. Yeah, we're just gonna keep mana leap keep mana leap and uh draw the Crassus from the, the Ice Fang code. I've eaten in in a few cities, and I have to say, New York's Indian food is amazing. Gonna make a thing. Got it. Mm hmm. I mean, this Dead of Winter is a, a solid gentleman. I guess we'll take a bunch of damages. I mean, we're just going to block this Thopter. That's going to kill the Jace, so. Alistair Kane, we actually went to the Tandoori oven in Logan. It was fantastic. We actually went to the gas station Indian food. It was great. I enjoyed it. So... Okay, we're gonna go Icy Boy. Let's block this guy. Save the Jace. It's like saving the date, but it's a Jace instead. Save the save the Jace. You guys get it. Hmm. No. Nope. nope. Don't like that. All right, well, let's, uh... Oh, oh, see the visuals. Okay, well, you see, Serum Visions. Oh boy, no sir, I don't like it. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter what we do because we're gonna play this and crack it here. I don't think we have any more. Do we have do we have snowland? Yes, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I don't care about this. I don't care about this. Just do what you want. Don't care about... Don't care about this. Ocean man, oh, take me by the hand, oh. Scootin' doo doo. Is a Pop Tart a sandwich or a ravioli? No. The answer is neither. Don't be like this. Why? How did you have that ready so fast? Okay. 
Okay, so everybody's coming at my face. Someone's coming at Jace. To it, Jace. Sure, I'll just block here. Opponent's at 54 life, huh? Well, that's a thing. This is a sorcery, huh? Well, that's a thing. I don't think we have anything that actually gets us out of this. All four sides are sealed with a filling on the inside. Why would it ever be a sandwich? It's a it's an uncrustables, if anything. My favorite part of the stream is knowing you're gonna sing a few bars of Ocean Man, and then I kind of trail off a bit. I'm like Ocean Man, make my mama so and it's just kind of like. Maybe they won't know. I don't know all the words to the song. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just gonna go to the next game. Uh, might as well do all the things that we can do. Ocean man, make my mama drown in a pool. Jesus. I don't think. I think the mana base is the the roughest part of this. Uh, Dead of Winter was fantastic, but it's not a permanent solution, and I really like things like Nature's Claim. Also, Leyline of the Void, that seems good, too. Liliana seems no bueno. See, this is a, it's, almost a it's almost a necessity, because if, like, they get into a situation where, like, we have to, um, we have to counter something, then, you know, so be it. Three cards. Logic Knot's okay. The problem is, like, I just don't feel like we have enough win conditions. Vendillion Clean clicks me a little bad against the deck whose who's main goal is to make 1 1 flyers, though. Um, take out Serum Visions, take out 1 Crassus. I just don't feel like we have enough win conditions, really. I think that's what it just comes down to. Yeah, if only Containment Priest was in Modern, that'd be sick. Ocean Man. Ugh, sand is not great. Um, I mean, you got two Snapcasters that don't do anything. Uh, this one we'll keep. We'll put a... Breeding pool. Done. This guy. Okay. Um, we'll leave with the tar pit. Sammy, dude, you're too hard on yourself, man. Yikes. You guys like this beard cam? Beard cam. Beard cam. Beard cam needs 4K. Wow. If you guys want to buy me a Brio, I'll 4K it. 4K! Alistair Kane, I'm still waiting for that Warp World deck. Oh, that's a lot of lands. Yeah, 25 lands is way too many. Like, even for Modern. Like, the only thing you're doing with your land is playing Hydroid Crassus, and other than that, like, you have, like, 5-4 drops, and that's it. Uh, do you exfoliate? I, I mean, I exfoliate in the sense that I wash my... I scrub my face every day. And I don't use any beard wax. I do use beard oil, though. Which has a nice patchouli scent, which is probably the most hipster thing I've ever said in my life. As soon as my mouth, my foot, one month where my foot doesn't try to fall off? Does your foot keep trying to fall off? Because that seems like a bigger problem. I'd be more concerned with that, to be honest with you.
How much would you sell the beard for? I don't know. Make me an offer, John. Tree Fitty? With or without the skin? I would hope the skin is not included because otherwise I die. So I'm going to I'm going to choose not death. I <laughs> They just put a they're like, "Yeah, I'll put this in the grave." Oh, there's no graveyard. Oh, I see. How does it feel to be one of the beautiful people? Bouncing this guy is does nothing really because they can't take advantage of his ability. You wouldn't die. I guess that's true. Yeah, you know, I guess that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know what's happening right now. God, Urza is such a busted magic card, man. Why does this exist? Hercules Recall is in modern. It has been a modern staple for a long time. I see. God, did they ever not have War of Invention in hand? That would be a really sweet game if they didn't have Urza and War of Invention in their hand. Because I'm stuck with seven lands. <laughs> so, you know. We got one, two, three. We can get four, four snow permanents, which would not kill this guy, unfortunately. If we drew like Dead of Night. All right, so yeah, that, all right. So let's let's tweak this up a little bit. The problem is, Arkham's Astrolabe doesn't really do much in this deck. Like, it fixes the mana a little bit, but I don't know if it's worth. Like, you're not you don't have any real artifact synergies. Like, this is just better as a proactive card that's doing something for us. Um, I like I like Archmage's Charm, and I kind of want to add another one, but if we take out the, the Arcanum's Astrolabes, I'm not sure if that's good. I think you just want Vistas here. I think you want at least two Vistas. So we'll add two Vistas. Take out a Misty. Take out a Polluted Delta. Uh, you want at least two Swamps because you're playing Liliana's. You want at least three Islands, two Forests. Those seem fine. This is 26 lands. I think the Scrying Sheets are a little too greedy. Like, Modern is a format where you don't really have time to activate a Scrying Sheets. Uh, Blooming Marsh can suck it. 23 lands is probably closer to where we want to be. Um... I don't actually like this Liliana very much. We don't have things that really benefit us to discard. I actually like the other Liliana better because we can get back things like Ice Fang Kotal or Snapcaster Mage. But even that I don't think is great here. I just don't feel like Liliana's doing what we want it to do. Like, if we take out the, the Dead of Winter and the Lilianas, we actually don't really have black cards in the deck that much. Like, I'm really tempted to add this, the Fallen Shinobis because of the the ice fangs and even the hydroid crassus like you just get hydroid crassus and um on um, like you can do hydroid crassus for two right draw a card and then you get to bounce it again we also didn't see a cryptic command at all i like i like more archmage's charms i do have to buy more so I'll just buy more. 
It's getting dark outside. It's getting dark outside. Let's get these guys. Confirm me. Oh, Eternal Witness might actually be fantastic here. You want a snow theme, huh, Sam Samuel? Look at these beauties. I like how those Eternal Witnesses are at the top and they're like, oh, you don't have those? All right, well, scroll all the way down for yours, dummy. And I'm like, oh no. Okay, let's take out the lilies. I think Dead of Winter can probably make it in the sideboard if we're still playing the black. Let's figure that out. Let's add more charms. I only have five bits, so I can't donate. Well, that's okay. We can get through this. What are the, some of the best snow payoffs? I'm going to look up snow payoffs. I'm not going to look up the words snow payoffs, though. Uh, Timeline snow in uh, blue, black, and green. Legal in modern. Search with them options. Okay, that's... None of these are snows. What did I put? Type line. Snow. I have no idea what I looked for. Oh, I, at most of these colors. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Scred for sure. Do we just want abominable tree folk? What about conifer worm? That guy seems real good, right? Iceberg cancricks. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of constructed worthy snow cards. I'll donate 30 bucks when I get tattered. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, buddy. Uh, I like Eternal Witness and I like Archmage's Charm. Dead of Winter is a good payoff. It does kill all of our creatures, though, except for Ice Fang Kodal. I'm not super sold on Nissa here. I just don't think she does much, and I'm usually one of the first people that's going to be like, hey, play this Nissa. She's a good card. But I don't know if that's the case. Oh no. I actually like Hydroid Crassus here. I think it's pretty okay. Yeah, we'll get Oof in the sideboard. Take it easy. Just relax. God. How much is this guy even going for? I mean, do I buy him? I don't know. Hearthstone Magic. Good. Okay. Price list. Modern Horizons. He is a little cutie. Collector Oof. Yeah, three bucks. Twenty bucks? <laughs> Are you just making up nonsense? Yes, okay. At least you're honest. Kind of. Um Thank you. 
Six months seems like I've been here longer. It does seem like you've been here longer. Kareen, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh my god, eBay, take it easy. You're being real aggressive right now. Um I feel like we just want something to, to combo with Ice Fang Codals. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. I just think something with ninjutsu is really what we want. Like, the best thing you can do with, with Ice Fang Kotal is play it at the end of the turn, draw a card, and uh, show non-foils. And, and bounce it back to replay it again. Like, Ninja the Deep Hours. <sighs> Sakashima Student? That's not Modern League, all right? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Maybe if the banana is an orange on the inside, what's even happening? How much could this banana go for? Like five? What? But what's even happening right now? Maryland just somber seems a little too cute. When did I start playing Magic? This is all in my. This is actually in the interview I did with Andrew this past week. I started playing Magic around Revised slash Fallen Empires. I also don't hate Ingenious Infiltrator. Also, yeah, like you get to just bounce these guys too. I think we want I think we want Fatal Push in the main deck to, to get rid of blockers. I learned when I was five years old. That's really young. Um, Jester Boo, have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your $20 uh, collector oofs. <laughs> Why is he like this? I don't know. When did you not start playing Magic? Uh, the year before that, I would say. Okay, okay. Um, dang it. My problem with snow is that the only thing we have is Ice Fang Codals. Ice Fang Codally Dodals. Codally Dodal, neighbor. And then once we're putting Fatal Push in, like all our lands should produce blue, right? Every land almost except for Overgrown Tomb and Forest and Swamp. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Baby back ribs. Okay, I'll see you later. I thought I turned that off. It turns out I just turned it on. Let's take logic. Oh, God damn it. I don't know what to do. I don't really want to. I'm trying to I'm trying to ride the line of not like, of sticking to the spirit of the dick. I think we want two of these guys, two Ninja of the Deep Hours, two Miss Nagas, and then like this is a good this is a good suite of win conditions. I think we can take the Logic Knots out because it's just a lot of counter spells. What if we just take out the? No, I can't take out the black altogether. I guess you're already heartbroken. All right, what did I? What can I? What can we do to fix it then? What do you want? What cards do you not want me to take out then? Let me know. Because, like, I'm seriously not interested in, like, not changing the deck more than you want me to. But, like... Well, the snow stuff, like, literally the only snow stuff I took out was Astrolabe, right? Like, Astrolabe and two Dead of Winter. But I don't think Dead of Winter is even that good in the main deck. I, I think it's a sideboard card because there's a lot of decks you're going to play where Dead of Winter is just dead. Like, you're going to play against Tron or you're going to play against Burn or you're going to play against... Like, there's lots of decks where you just don't care about having a Dead of Winter. So, like, these are the only four snow cards I took out. So then you have, like, this 
and this are the only snow permanents in the deck. I mean, we can add the we can add the the the, the scrying sheets, but when you have cryptic command and, and archmage's charm, it's really hard. Plus, like realistically, we only have one, two, three. I actually think I, I added a, a snow covered land, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Plus the two scrying sheets would be sixteen, um, but you'd actually only have one, right? Like let's say you've already, you've drawn a scrying sheets and you've played it, and let's say you have to have at least one other snow permanent in play, right? So that's that's two. At the very least, um, or at the very most rather, you're going to have fourteen other snow permanents in your deck, which means scrying sheets is going to hit less than twenty five percent of the time, less than one fourth of the time, which is a little rough. So, I mean, the, the problem is that, like, there just isn't enough snow permanents. Like, I even looked. I, I, I have a, a, a page open right now with all of the snow, all the snow cards on it, basically. Alistair Kane, have a good night, buddy. And they're just not very good. Oran Viper's pretty good. There's a lot of owls. There's a Blizzard Strix and a Rhyme Feather Owl. <laughs> I don't think those guys are going to do it, though. Oran Viper is definitely not the worst Ophidian guy. He's not terrible. Boreal Druid's also pretty decent. But, like, the problem is, like, by itself, like, unless you're having artifacts... Like, there's a reason Tron plays these, you know what I mean? It's because it gets to fix their mana the same way Chromatic Star and Chromatic Sphere does. The only thing I want to play is Jace, the green, blue, X guy, and the snow snake. Okay, Hydroid Crassus, Jace, and uh, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. I just want to make sure, like, because if, if your if your restriction is let's play some snow stuff, like I'm fine with that. But I don't think it's gonna be super successful because again, like these cards are they're great in the sideboard. Dead of Dead of Winter is fantastic, but the problem is Um there's just so many matchups where you're like, oh, that doesn't do anything. I think Assassin's Trophy should be Abrupt Decay in the main deck. Because Abrupt kills most of the stuff. Okay, this is 65. Oh, we're taking out these guys. Okay, okay. And we're about to go on Serum Visions. So, we actually can only, we can cut one of the swamps because we don't actually have uh, double black cards anymore. So we just want one swamp. Three islands is still good. Two forests is great. Uh, two creamy tar pits. Three misty and overgrown. Three polluted. We have water grave, a breeding pool, and an overgrown. What about dark slick shores? Yeah, I like dark slick shores here. Let's try it like this. We'll start out like this. We'll see how this works. Um, I, without without the arcane the arcanum's astrolabe, like it's really hard to add scrying sheets, just because the last thing you want to do when you have like you you can't because then you can't go ice fang codal into archmage's charm. Um, it's a little rough. So let me borrow these missing pieces. Make sure that's everything. We also have two. Two Ninja the Deep Hours and two Miss Naga Syndicates. Both of which, like Miss Naga Syndicate and, and Fallen Shinobi were, were MVPs when we were playing them. And uh, hopefully Ninja the Deep Hours is also good. Be able to bounce a uh, Snapcaster Major and Ice Fan Codal seems like a pretty big game. We'll take out one of these. We'll take out the Vendillion Clicks and we'll add Collector Oofs. Uh, collector Oofes. We'll add three of those guys and maybe like one more. Fallen Shinobi is Bay. I hear you can win some pretty sweet drafts with those guys. Um one more sideboard card. I think I just want maybe like I think it's just another fourth fourth of negation. Fourth 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 of negation. Fourth force of negation. 
Because really, we can cast it pretty easily, and we also have we also have three Archmage's Charm, which I really really like. And we have four through Cryptic Command, so like, is there a way to cast Eternal Witness at the end of the turn? What about that one blue name a card, exile that from your opponent's deck? Uh, on more, it's not as good in modern, I don't think. I mean, you just use Surgical Extraction, right? Or what's the other card? Surgical Extraction. There's got to be a better version of that card. You're thinking of Unmoored Ego. Sylvan Ranger. Extirpate is another version of the card. Yep, 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 yep. Got them all. Gonna trade them all. Collector oops. Guys, what should I have for dinner tonight? I'm probably just having tacos. Never mind. Joke's on you. Man, I don't have any side dishes, though. I wish I had some rice and or some corn. It's hard to just eat tacos by themselves and not have, like... I'm just gonna go to the Walmart and get some rice and some corn. Let me tell you a story. I typically buy Old El Paso taco shells to eat with my tacos. Just because they're they're fine. They're, just, they're, they're good. They get the job done. Whew. Okay. Um, so, I get the... I get the old El Paso taco shells, right? And the other day, there was BOGO at Publix, so buy one, get one. So I go to Publix, and I'm like, yeah, I'll try the BOGOs, sure. But I get the regular shells, and then I get the Dorito shells. Guys, let me tell you, I got the Dorito shells as a joke, because I was like, you know what, fuck, I'll try these Dorito cheesy shells, whatever. I don't want to eat regular shells anymore. I just want to eat Dorito shells. I'll keep this because of Serum Visions. Also, look at these. Look at this fallen shinobi ready to go off these ice fang codals. So, guys, if you have the option to get uh, to get regular taco shells or Dorito taco shells, don't kid yourselves. Get the Dorito taco shells. Um, which one do we want to draw? Probably Snapcaster, right? Because we're definitely getting a green here. Uh, okay, this this deck again. Like, I thought it was just a gimmick. I was like, what a total gimmick. What an absolute stupid idea. Oh, cool. Taco shells with Dorito cheese on them. Blah. And then I was like, these are fucking delicious. Holy smokes, dude. I was all like, hey, that's pretty good. No cool ranch taco shells? You know, I don't think so. I didn't see any. Let's get a breeding pool. You want to again? You want to make sure you get all? Oh god, look at all these things. Look at this. Oh, this is my cold snap planes, and this is my master's edition island. I don't, I don't know how to dress myself in the. I'm pretty sure the people who have mismatching lands don't know how to dress themselves in the morning. If you look down, they're gonna have two different color socks on. I guarantee it. They don't even have uncool ranch taco shells. Okay, well we have all the lands we need, which is fantastic. F -f -f fantastic. God, so we can keep Cryptic Command or Fallen Shinobi up. Just get out of get out of town. Funyun shells? <laughs> I mean, I feel like you're joking, but that sounds delicious. I would I would get down on some funny and shells. There's no way you can eat funny and taco shells without looking like the the biggest, the dirtiest, the dirtiest dirt dirt urchin you, I've ever seen. Like you're just like, what are you eating there? Funny and taco shells? I'd be like, wow, dude. Wow. 
What happened to your self-respect? Oh, that's obnoxious. Well, can't do anything about that. We can play Snapcaster and just kill it. No. Oh god, we can fall in Shinobi here. Oh god. Oh my god. Ice Fang Codles. I'm already a dirt person. Bring on the Funnions. Dear Lord. Dear Lord Jesus. Uh, yeah, that was a good draw because now we can play Eternal Witness. You know who I don't care about? You're Renin Six. Black and blue and a bounce this guy. Let's see what we get. Hopefully it's good. Oh god, you're gonna have a path in your six card hand, and even though you play Renin Six and Serum Visions, that's not a path. Oh god, do we just get to deal some damage here? Oh boy. Don't be lands. Delay and a Serum Visions. Okay. Still the end of the turn? Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow! Uh, put you on top, and I'll put you on top of that. I'm game. Can't... We can't delay anything. So we get to untap, have two. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? That's rude. You're rude. That's really dumb. <laughs> Ren and six into Teferi. Cool. If only we could have hit a Teferi, that would have been. That would have been sweet. Well, all of our things have one toughness, and they have a uh, Teferi. I guess we can just hard cast Fallen Shinobi. And I guess hope they don't have anything to deal with that. Strange one find What about a corn nuts taco shell? What's wrong with you? You need Jesus. That's rude. What's the next card on top of our deck? Is it a Is it abrupt decay? Abrupt snap abrupt. Oh, I like that. Oh god. What is what is with there? What is with you? Why are you being like this? Merit Lage of Slumber. What does it do? Uh then you're up here control ten or more snow permanents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we're not going deep enough. So we're gonna need what? How many blue? One blue. Green, black. We need a black source here. So let's get a watery grave. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna go abrupt decay and the five. Kill this idiot. Green and black. Yeah, just kill this guy. At the beginning of your upkeep. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, so we can go Snapcaster and Abrupt Decay at the end of their turn. Get back Fallen Shinobi. That seems good. Fallen Shinobi. We also get Cryptic Command. We can just bounce the, the snow-covered planes, which seems insane. That actually seems better. Watery Grave Digger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our... This would be... Nope. 
Uh, counter target spell. Or blue, blue. Yeah, let's do this, Jobby. God, Teferi is just the worst card in this format. Of course you have delay. Why wouldn't you? Never don't have that. Congratulations. You're good at this game. Just kidding, you suck. <laughs> okay, so uh what did they what did they put in their hand? Was it the delay? Puts a card. Now here it's an ability puts a card. What's the card? Sure. I only have one mana though, right? Like what am I missing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. You're paying me to test ride elevators in tux tuxedo. Can we hurry this up? Because I'd really like to. I really want this to happen. Eternal witness kill Teferi. I mean, the problem is we have to like cryptic command. We have to kill this before we can cryptic command. We only have two green. Ah, uh, that's bad. Mana base still still problematic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're just gonna kill the Teferi here. Two. Snap one, two. Yeah, let's snap. Oh, abrupt decay. Kill this dude. One, two. God, I still have seven cards in hand. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, Narset's fine. Narset's not really affecting us in any way. I don't think we've had. I don't think we've we've declined a draw yet. So. Seriously? Three Teferis, huh? Seems good. Hmm. That's helpful. Where were you last turn? Sure. One down. Do you bounce my snake? You 100% bounce the snake. You don't bounce the snake. Confused. Uh, being your upkeep. It's being your upkeep. Sure. So I can just. No, I can't crypt a command of my village. Wow, this deck seems sweet. Also, Teferi is a real problem. I'm here and alive somehow. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't crash this here. Let's get another green source because we want to turn. Oh, we don't. Do we not have one? It's got to be a forest, right? Okay. Let's see what we got here. We didn't get to draw anything because of the Narset. Yep, we're done here. All right. 
that's I forgot about that. I literally didn't play Hydroid Crosses because of the Narset, and then I forget about it because... Yeah, that's rough. Engineer Explosives is an option for sure. Um, Force of Negation. Bring you in. Fatal Push can go. Take out one Hydroid Crassus. I think that's probably good, right? Static abilities on walkers are absolutely miserable. I really, they're just hard to get used to. Like there's, uh, there's not a day that goes by where I don't, I don't, I don't think I've played a single match where at one point or another I didn't forget about the static ability on a planeswalker. Not a day goes by that I don't forget about planeswalkers' static abilities. Yep, this hand would be much better if I had a second land. Oh boy, this hand is absolutely hot shit too. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep this hand. We'll ship a snow-covered island. I'm not gonna go to four. I'm not gonna go to five here. Let's get a water grave. Like they're so unintuitive that like I literally remembered that Narset is gonna prevent me from drawing on Hydroid Crassus, but then I literally forget seconds later and I cast Serum Visions into Hydroid Crassus or into into Narset and I'm just like, oh, that's right. Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. Are you serious? On top deck, two lands. Wow. Um, Yeah, I actually never considered Narset as Addictive Time. That's hilarious, because she's digging eight deep, and you're looking at two cards. But your opponent can't cast anything, That's or can't draw cards. Narset and Teferi are both miserable. I agree with you completely. There's entire strategies that rely upon drawing cards to like find a specific thing that aren't like overpowered or also just playing things on your opponent's turn. What the f Sure. I didn't see any of these guys. Is MOL worth in 2019? I have no idea what that means. 50 Narset penalties is pretty ridiculous. Where were you? God, if I hit any kind of spell that I can cast and snapcast, I just don't feel like throwing a snapcaster out when they have a 1-1. One, one. Like, it does not feel... Oh my god, I roll. This is not ideal. I still don't love our mana base. I'm still wondering what we can fix. I think we want another watery grave and another breeding pool. I mean, now I'm real tempted to just toss a snapcaster out here. Because we at least get in for a hit.
Yeah, I was also worried about the value of Snapcaster, but it's like, well... What's the point? Like, I'm just gonna get it back anyway, so... Yeah, I'm sure this guy's dead. <laughs> there's no, there's no world which which this guy doesn't doesn't just get utterly wrecked. Uh, get one of these. It's actually fine. Hydroid Crassus next turn. As long as they don't play Narset, this Hydroid Crassus could be pretty good. We have Jace too, don't we? It's hard to tell because I never draw him. Yeah, we got another island in hand, sure. Andrew Cram with the sub? Oh my god. Oh my god. What a time to be alive. It's your boy. Andrew Cram, uh, if you guys know from uh, from YouTube... And then Twitch, the podcast, Andrew and I, I recorded an episode of Where Are All My Friends? It's Andrew's podcast. You can find it on Stitcher, Stitcher Radio, on iTunes, on Spotify. And we did an interview, and that's up on my YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash Frank Laporte. You guys are probably watching this on there now if you guys are not watching on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, Andrew Kramer. We're also doing a new podcast called Friends. It's about me and Andrew and the fact that we're friends. And it's going to be about nothing. Andrew, we need to record an episode. Are we still on for barbecue tomorrow? Are we barbecuing tomorrow? That's exciting. I find barbecue exciting. I find the prospect of barbecue exciting. Oh, I just bounced my own ice fang codal. Kill this... Idiot. So one, two, one, two, one, two. I guess they don't need this to come and play untapped. Yeah, he's the guy who used to fart himself awake every morning until he broke his leg. That's literally, that's him. That That is Andrew. What kind of barbecue? I don't know. Andrew Cram with the sub. What a, what an absolute saint. <laughs> You're one of my fave mics, wow. What's going on here with this shirt? It's like getting all, it's getting against the term, tw terms of switch, Twitch ter service. Twitch terms of service, you guys know what I'm saying. They were like, but wait, I mean, they have like eight cards in hand, right? Are they just not going to play anything? <sighs> Exhausting. What is vegetarian barbecue? Smoke dirt? Yeah, I just get vegetarian barbecue. You fool. You fool! Well, here's my Renan, Reynolds and Sixums. Uh, okay, so I guess we're just going to play this guy. Smoked dirt. Uh, there is no hair, Mike. But I mean, I guess I guess Andrew has hair. Oh no. Oh no. How about now? Oh no. We just can't beat this card advantage, man. It's unbelievable. 
Which is weird because I feel like our deck has a good amount of card advantage. Let's go green and a black. Oh, wow. Nicely done. Nicely done killing that Narset. Ooh, ooh, I like it all. I like it all. What do you do and you like? We'll put you on top and then we'll put you on top of that so we can actually play that guy. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Meatless, dairyless tacos. Isn't that just corn? What's wrong with you people? I'm a people person. Attack Jace the Mind Sculptor. He's better than all you know. Yeah, this is fine. I don't really see how we can win. All of our creatures have one toughness and they have a run in six, and it's just like, oh, that's pretty good. I'm wondering, like, what are we missing? I don't know what we're missing here. Will you hire my hamster to fart you awake in the morning? No. Why would I hire anything? Why? Okay, so A, I'm not hiring anything. And B, why would I want something to fart me awake? I wasn't even the one who got farted awake. That was Andrew. None of this makes any sense. Well, I guess you have a counter spell. Sure. Yeah, we're just done here. I'm just not having fun at all against this stupid fucking static ability planeswalker deck with mono counter spells. Okay. So gosh, something going on here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh man. I'd probably eat just a bowl of cheese and sour cream. Yikes. Put in Factor Fiction. I mean, like, Factor Fiction is great. Uh, okay, we were going to cut B Sanctum. And probably... Probably one of the fetch lands. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 fetch lands. So we're going to add another Watery Grave and another Breeding Pool. I really don't like Serum Visions that much. Like, it just doesn't do anything. Similarly, like, we don't have enough to really snap back. We can actually cut one of these. What up, Hammer Time? It's funny because we have Jace's and we have Cryptic Commands. But, like, I feel like we weren't drawn. Like, we haven't drawn any Jace's really. Archimedes Charm is also very, very good. I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why we don't have that draw. Okay, so. I almost want something. Is there a good one drop other than, like, Fairy Seer? Like, I'm just thinking, I just don't want to turn this into, like, blue-black ninjas. What's it, is there an efficient way to deal with, like, planeswalkers in this format? I feel like everyone, I feel like we're just playing against infinite planeswalkers. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. Also, we have like a lot of counter spells, and I feel like we didn't draw many counter spells in either of those games. And Pithy Meal just deals with one planeswalker at a time. I would just play more abrupt decays or something. Right, yeah, also doesn't do anything against static abilities, which abrupt decay does. I don't know, man. Um yeah, we already have Rope Decay. I'm not super on Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> I 
It already is blue black ninja. Alright, well, I mean, like, you want me to take them out? I don't know what you're saying, dude. I mean, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six ninjas, but we also have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve snow cards. We have actually more snow cards than ninjas. Uh, I don't know what to. We got four cards. Are there any good planeswalkers? That we can be playing? What if we what if we played Narset? Is Narset good? I don't know. I just want another Fallen Shinobi. This card's just so good. And like I I feel like I was playing fewer because I didn't want to just throw ninjas all willy nilly up in here, but they're really good. These guys are basically two drops. Man, I would love a baleful strix. Yeah, this is not bad. My only problem with this is she doesn't draw cards. Like, actually, Nissa could be pretty good here. All right, we'll put the one Nissa back in. Two cards. Without the counter spells? But then, like, what are we... Then we might as well take out Snapcaster Mage, too. I mean, I might just want one more abrupt decay and like one more. Eh. Serum bridge is good. I don't want to. I this, the the problem with Lily. I don't. I don't, I don't want to double black cards in the deck because we actually cut a lot of the black sources. So I'd rather not revisit the 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 what do you call it? Yeah, abrupt decay is good. I almost like Remand better than Mana Leak. Let's try Remand. Because we want something to draw cards and like... We have a lot of hard counters as it is. So... Yeah, we're just gonna put the fourth ball in here. Let's not... Let's quit, let's quit beating around the bush. That guy's insane. divinations no one would probably see it coming even though it's so slow you'd be like wow I don't know how I missed that I will play first. Uh, nope, don't like that. Okay, we'll try it. We'll put Eternal Witness on the bottom. Maybe you need Serum Visions. Maybe I'm just... Uh, the mana wasn't... I fixed the mana, like, the other round. Well, that's unfortunate. I see. Well, let's see if it's... Oh, no. Yep.
Wow. They've drawn the same number of metallic mimics and walking ballistas that we have lands, so that's something. Yikes. How many snowlings are playing? Like six? Yeah, this guy's not even that great here, right? Like. So they're going to shoot us for two. They're going to pump this guy, so it's three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Actually, not terrible. Actually, we don't want them to untap with this guy. Because if they untap, they can go in response, put another counter on it. They deal us five. Oh, they just kill this and then they kill us with this. This is actually... No, no, wait. But maybe not. So they shoot snap, then they deal us three, and then this guy deals one. What does this do? Sure. Why didn't they move the counter onto the Metallic Mimic when it came into play, though? I mean, I guess we're hoping you whiff. No, that's not going to be a whiff. Walking Ballista number three. Just tried an impossible obstacle because of your recommendation. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. I've had two so far, and I thought they were both great. Maybe I'll have one tonight. <laughs> I've had tacos for like the past four meals. Oh, good. <sighs> Must be nice, because it sure is exhausting. Okay. Well, let's collector oof. And Force of Negation doesn't do much, really. Uh, Nature's Claim also seem a good. Take out the Nissa. Take out. Take out Remand. Archmage's Charm is not bad. We can steal things like Walking Ballista, but they're never going to let that happen. Dead of Winter, is that any good? I don't think so. You can have tacos every meal, but my my bee hole might need the break. I will play first. Keep this hand. I don't think it's fantastic, but it's keepable. Yeah, I had the fire poops last night. It was very uh it was very unpleasant. I was like, well, this is the signal for too many tacos, my friends. Sure. Let's get a breeding pool. Say yes. Kill this. Pop this. Let's get overgrown tomb. And land. Four drop. Seems good. Probably gonna add one more land now. I know when I've had too much buffalo sauce on that one's yikes. Now it's now we got a poop stream. Sure. Yeah, 
Okay. Like, I really don't want to just concede here, but like, four drop, four drop, five drop, four drop, three drop, four drop, five drop. Like, we can probably take one of these guys out, probably out of land. Oh, man. I'm just like, I'm finding it hard to. Uh, how does Leyline? How does how does Graveyard Hate deal with Ravager? So because because Leyline exiles it, it doesn't actually get to put the counters on. I actually never knew that. Yeah. Literally can't hit a third land in five turns. Fantastic. Magic is fun. Okay. Let's go back to the drawing board again. Let's take out one Fallen Shinobi. We're going to add another land here. Add one more Vista. All right. Take out the Nagas. Take out the Ninja of the Deep Hours too. Let's put in like, maybe the Serum Visions come back in. Maybe Opt, I actually might like Opt better. Force of Vigor. Put one in here and take out the Nature's Claim. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna keep rocking it. Three lands and a Codal, deal. This is basically just uh, Sultai with Fallen Shinobis in it. It's got a lot more uh, counter spells and controlling elements. Abrupt Decay, Remand, Archmage's Charm, and Cryptic Command. Oh, they almost, I feel like they almost skipped their turn there. They're like, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dang. Oh, bitter blossom. Thank goodness I have a abrupt decay. Let's go get a breeding pool. In other words, all the blue mana symbols in the world, correct. Astute. I don't care about that. One more land. One more land. Nice. Well, let's just pass with one of our three abrupt decays up and uh, fall in Shania's fan code. Nailed it. We can do it. Oh yeah, that's fine. Siege Rhino is strong. Did you plan to play the other list? Uh, not currently. No, I mean not not right not tonight anyway. But I could. Uh, let's crack this. Get another. Get a get a forest so we have two green sources. They're like, uh-oh, they know what's coming. 
Maybe they don't. I have no idea what they know. Blue room, black. Bounce this guy. Give me like two, give me two siege rhinos. Oh boy. I was gonna do it, Selena Terry, all those cards in the pen. Yep, all right, sure. Pass it up. I mean, unfortunately, if they play anything that costs three or more, our hand is rough. It's a lot of tokens. Well, why doesn't this guy have trample? Does anybody know? Sure. They have one card. Oh, this game's over. Put Rancor in the deck. That's actually gas. Yeah, let's talk about this art for a second. Let's talk about this Leatherface creepy-ass ninja art. Oh, I can literally just go abrupt decay, abrupt decay, or abrupt decay fatal push, and then then connect with the shinobi. Oh boy, you done messed up, eh, Aaron? Uh, let's go blue. Let's get a basic island. How's that sound? You guys like islands? No, we have to get a swamp. And kill this guy. And kill this guy. Sunny D, it'll burn your face. Uh oh. Something's happening. Uh, 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 uh. Do, 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 do. Assassin's Trophy? Abrupt decay my snake. Oh man, it's a good thing they did that, otherwise you get four looks. Jeez. Surprisingly good. Oh god, give me them hits. Oof. That should be a concession, right? <laughs> okay. Oh man, do I have to really explain the power of Fallen Shinobi? It's just a bonkers card. Could you put up the record of the deck so far? It's one, uh, it's 03 so far, but we've been tweaking it consistently. So... Uh, Leyline, like take my money. we saw the Mike Arnold Kilo Three work. I love modern. I love it more after Hogak is banned. Yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Ooh, so like, what do we see? Siege Rhino, Wall of Omens, Abrupt Decay. So none of these cards are great against those spells. Garrick Relentless. I actually think our main deck is where we want to be. I think we're fine. We also have, we still don't see many Archmage's Charms or Cryptic Commands, which is really sad. Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. What if we Night Veil Spectre and Ashiok and just steal? Uh, I would much rather play Thief of Sanity than Ash the Night Veil Spectre. Thief of Sanity is like Night Vale Spectre on drugs. On 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 crack cocaine.
What is this link? I don't even know what this this clip is. Hey, buddy. You like Ashiok? If you come over here this alley, I got plenty of Ashiok for you. Only hey, cost you three nickels. Three schnickels? Oh, shoulder. Wow. Hey, kid. Let me see your Ashiok. Excuse me, sir. My daddy said to never talk to strangers. Your daddy's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Wow, that's actually... Why is that clip so funny? Jesus. Oh, that was great. That was... I think it was the your daddy's a little bitch. I think that was where the the, the humor really delivered. Uh, one, two, ice fang code. Ice fang I can just abrupt decay this stupid thing. But until then. I think we just found another breeding pool because we want to be able to cast both of these jobbies. Hey kid, let me see your ass yuck. My daddy told me not to talk to strangers. Your daddy's a little bitch. That's just funny. That's just good comedy. Oh no! That's terrible! Oh boy, what, what kind of land are we getting here? Breeding pool to be said? Oh yes, let's get the breeding pool. I'm gonna charm this guy. Hmm. <laughs> I was really hoping for a fallen shinobi there, guys. Fallen Shinoopy. I feel like we hit our stride with this with this configuration. <sighs> Excuse me. Sunny D? That'll burn your throat. Hey guys, you want some Sunny D? Sunny D? That'll burn your throat. Give me a counter spell back. Gives them a window. Now they get a window. To the window, to the wall, to the window, to the wall. So that song goes like this. Wow. 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 What a jerk. What an absolute turd burger. Huh. Oh, well. Oh. Sunny D. It'll burn your throat. What's the thing? Four counters? That's fine. Nothing's more terrifying than falling asleep with a Twitch stream on and waking up to that giant wow. Nothing? Oh, that's cute. Isn't that special? Did they play land this turn? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I just want to draw a card, though. Uh, maybe I don't. Maybe I just want to bounce. Counter target spell and bounce this thing. One, two, three, four... Let's crack this now because they ain't got nothing. Uh, let's get overrun to him. All right. Oh, 
Well, let's get a blue source. Frank, isn't there value to keeping the uh, fetch land so that you could fatal push a siege rhino when they cast one? No. No, there's not. Yeah. I don't care about this. Oh boy. I mean, this is it's four counters, right? We already established this. Oh, I like a Snowvergrown tomb. That's nice. Bitter Blossom. Oh, no. Target non land permanent with Converter Hands. Dang it. Two mana, two mana. This is not going to counter anything of value, so might as well just. Whoa, that's exciting. Hmm. You know what? No. Give me Archimedes Charm to build a dream on. One, two, three, four, five. Would you acknowledge that the meme productivity is higher when Michael is on? I, do I have to? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought it was obvious. I thought that was a given. You gotta be kidding me. Give me a cause I build a dream on what that's that would be that'd be ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Another Game of Thrones song's gonna be stuck in my head. You're ridiculous. This whole courtroom's out of order. Eternal Witness. That's basically Eternal Witness. Come on. Two? All right, we're good. You didn't write, use the right form of your? <laughs> oh, dang it, she's right. I didn't do that. It's really stressful for me. I'm really stressed out about that, to be honest with you. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's talk about something else. <sighs> Maelstrom Pulse could be good. I like that. Oh, I like that. What is this you're doing? What are you doing right now? See, Rhino? Come on. Come on. One, two, one, two, three, four. So let's go kill this thing. This is gonna be more this is gonna be the most demoralizing series of plays, and I really I'm gonna apologize in advance for them, but I'm not gonna feel bad for them. Resolve that guy. And we're going to counter and draw. Flashback. Cast the flashback. Cast the flashback. Whatever that means. I got curry for dinner. I hate you. With love. With love is how I hate you. You'll see is the only way um i'm gonna play codal here because if we do draw fallen shinobi i just want to be wrecking face with that dude dang it Butter mine. they can't win right they just can't win chris i do not blame you and i i like that i had a, some minor part in influencing your di your dinner choice spaghetti tomorrow somebody touch my spaghetti I feel like it's PB's Playhouse and someone's like, somebody said the magic word. And you're like, oh, 
All right. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. You do what you got to do. I'm going to draw two cards here because we have way too many counter spells at this point. Y'all better not touch my... Wow, that's so selfish. Why are you being so selfish with your spaghetti? You need to learn how to share your spaghetti. Man, where are my fallen Chanoopies? I'm going to find one, I swear to you. I swear it. Is this guy get one? No. Uh, yeah, it's still probably the best. One, two, three. Dang it. Dang it. Because you didn't watch the... Wow, that's rude. That's rude. You're being rude right now. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Eight mana. Where's my fallen Chernobyls? Ugh, God. I'm just going to pass here. I mean, this is a grindy match, but like, it's all but locked up. We have Archmage Charm, Cryptic Command, Snapcaster, Cryptic Command, Eternal Witness, Cryptic Command, and this is this alone is an infinite combo. It's an infinite combination move. Counter Spell Draw Card. One. Uh, he's probably like, seriously, come on, just, just let me die. Let me die. And I'm like, one. When Gotham is broken, you have my permission to die. I don't know. I don't know if that's a quote. You guys know what I'm saying, though. I'm doing the Bane. Do the Bane. Do, do, do. Fallen Shinobi. Damn it. Son of a bitch. I'm getting real angry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm getting real mad. Let's go find a basic island again. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. Keep up all them blues. Get this guy. Yeah, this is a lock, right? Because I just counter whatever they play or bounce my Eternal Witness. Yeah. So they're just going to die by a thousand cuts here with uh, one damage a turn. You merely adopted ninjutsu. We were born into it. Molded by it. It's the first time I've ever gotten sad with a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Well, what are you going to do? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Fallen Shinobi, you better be in these top... Oh, they didn't even let me look. Deeper and raspier? That's what she said. Got him! Okay, so, back to the drawn board. Let's add one pulse oh look at that that is gorgeous just gorgeous and take out one probably one charm right I think two is good <laughs> let's put one trophy in I like these more versatile answers instead of an abrupt decay I still vote rancor it's not terrible we have a bunch of low power dirtles all the grasses in your grass. Alright. Let's give it another go. So we're 1 3. But that last round felt good. Gruel me harder? Oh, Jesus. Nope. Don't like that. Yeah, okay. Keep it. Your, your name is Grill Me Harder and you're going to play Dark Slick Shores into an Inquisition? <laughs> Please. Oh, they took a Maelstrom Pulse. Fascinating. That just means they have another one. Oh, that makes sense now. It all makes sense now, you see. All the dancers. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure this is fairies. Yeah, all right, whatever. This is rough. 
We're gonna bring in Dead of Night here, I think. Oh, uh, this guy. Multiple Hydroid Crises, huh? Oh, Plague Engineer would be good. I do like a good Plague Engineer. No blocks. Yikes. All right, well... That's pretty good. Oh, don't. There's nothing you can do. That is nothing you can do. Scion of Una? That's a yikes for me, dog. If they untap and go other Scion of Una, I think we're just in our. We're in our death throes at that point. Take six, I guess. Casual six damage. All right. Well, I mean, we in, in hindsight, we probably should have kept that for us, but it still doesn't let us cast Cryptic Command. Hydroid Crassus is not impressive at, at two. So we'd literally just have four mana and, and these cards, which is not the best. I think Dead of Winter and Force of Negation are probably what we want to bring in here. Take out the Nissa again. Um, take Assassin's Trophy. Archmage's Charm seems a little slow. Chase might be too slow here. I'm going to take out Fatal Push, actually. Fatal Push doesn't seem like it kills a ton of stuff that we really care about. We have 24 lands, right? Jeez. Today has not been our day. Look at all these matches that are up. It's like, oh. Okay, close this. And then you're like, oh. Close this. Oh. Close this. Oh. Close this. There's a lot of losses, unfortunately. Oh, then we won this one. And then... Mulligan. Okay, keep it. Ship a remand. Sure. So th here's the thing. I think there's a there's a direct tension between things like Cryptic Command and Snowlands because the Snowlands you're gonna want to uh, you want at least three Snowlands to like make the Ice Wing Codal have um to have what what do you call it Death Touch. But like if you're getting basics with Prismatic Fist, it's really hard to cast Cryptic Command. So we're gonna get forest. 
Yeah, we're just going to get forest. It gives us the, op the, the options to play more things. Did not have a second land. That's interesting. I do like that we drew two lands here. All the dancers in your grand cafe. Yeah, I'll take one. Oh, God, no, just no. I mean, you know, you know, I'm a pro, right? I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil anybody's impressions or anything, but. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take I'll take two. How's that sound? Good. Interesting. Here comes my misbind click. Uh, one, two, Snapperuski. this guy sure I'll take cryptic command I mean Very good choice. Oh. Well. All right. I mean, you know, sure, that's fine. Are we trading here? I'm sorry, what? Do you not know what this card does? <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> Why you'd ever let this connect? Hmm. I'm confused. Go, go, go. So we know one of their cards is Misbind Click, and we have Remand. And we have Cryptic Command. This does not seem like the correct pick, but what do I know? Oh, we're at seven though? That's rough.
Oh, I guess it actually works better the... No, it doesn't work the, better the other way. Yeah, this is fine. So we take five and we're dead to... Actually, what? One, two, three. So five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven. We have to block two things or else we die. Three, four, five, six. Five, six, seven. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, we want the land up because then we get to play remand and. Two, three, four, five. No, we can actually, if we hit a land, we're actually in great shape. Oh, that's not the land we wanted. Still fine. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can also just absolutely hit some bonkers stuff here. Wow. Interesting. So we're going to cast this. Uh, do you wish to return another creature? No. Yeah, now we just get to keep up Cryptic Command. And if they activate their Creeping Tar Pit... So I'm going to let them tap this, and then we're going to Cryptic Command it, which they know we have. Oh, uh, no. Uh, return to permanent. One, two, three, four. So now we have nine, and they're at eight. Seems good. All right. Well... One more match. about force. Leyline doesn't matter. Nissa doesn't matter. Archmage's Charm. Might be better than Remand. Everything being instant speed makes Remand worse because like... Fatal Push does take out the stupid Scions. And it takes a Mistbind click actually. This seems good. I mean, I think I feel like once we have all the land. But that I do want to thin out some some lands here. So I'll just get a breeding pool. Choose an instant or sorcery, we discard it. Sure. That's fine. I mean, I got Snapcaster. Uh, let's play Vista. Vista. 
feeling okay about this. is better. I'm going to let this resolve. If we cast the Kotal, it's very likely that we could draw something else that they could just take. So we're only netting a snake on the board, whereas if we also play this, then the, then the best card in our hand is Snapcaster, which means we can't get Abrupt Decay back. If they just want to take this, that's fine. Let's get this guy. Oh, that's a that's a guy. A guy. Uh, let's just play this. Oops, say no. Sure. You have three cards. Fascinating. But you know I have this guy, so we can just play this. And snap abrupt. Um, sure, what the hell. God, that legacy cube does seem like yesterday. What a time to be alive. Oof. That's brutal. That's brutal. I mean, we get to draw a card and we still have Hydroid Crassus. Well, that wasn't the card we were looking for. I don't think that is either, but I still think we just play Crassus here. Crassus for one. Oh, all right. That's not bad. We get to opt. I mean, it blocks this guy, and if we really need to force something, we can. Remember, real time to just block. I'm actually gonna hold back. If we draw like Fallen Shinobi, it's just insane here. Okay, so here's the thing: we could either counter this and lose two cards, or we could just let them take one. Fine. Take the opt. Fallen Shinobi. Okay, well, I see. So we can just attack for five, and this guy actually stays back, I believe. Oh, man. How many misbuying clicks do you think they have in their hand that we just can't counter once they hit this fourth land right now? Ooh, no fourth land. Sure. Force of negation, you are making me look real bad, buddy.
three force of negations. My kingdom for three archmage's charm, archmage's charm instead. God, Fallen Shinobi would have been great. Like we could just attack with Crassus, bouncing Crassus. That would be insane. Of course. Yep, that's going to be the end. Force of Negation. Great. Oh, that would have been nice. Just get back Ice Fang Codal. Three permanents. So we could play it. Uh, now we just... Actually, we're not dead. So I guess... <sighs> Jesus. Yep, that is a 3-3, three, three, though. be a land and it's a land block here come here block here. I just have a you just have a spell star sprite of course you do all right well on that note one four I don't feel great about it. this there's, there's a lot of tension in the Sultai deck right now um I don't think you can go completely snow as 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 we evidenced here I mean like if you have the astrolabe it just doesn't have any synergy with the rest of your deck it has none it's just a you might as well play Chromatic Star or Chromatic Sphere. It just, it's a, literally a card that just fixes your mana. Um, similarly, it's really hard to have Scrying Sheets in the deck because, again, you'll, you have less than 25% chance to hit, so it's less than 1 in 4. Um, so if you're spending 3 mana in Modern every turn to draw to, to, to try to, to, to have less than 25% of a chance to draw a card, it's really rough. Another thing Scrying Sheets does is it makes it really hard to cast Archmage's Charm and Cryptic Command, which are both triple blue. So there's a lot of tension there. Like you can either go snow or you can go, there, even if you go snow, like there's no real way to go snow because it's just, there's not enough support for it. There's some cool snow cards you can put in your deck, but you can't just have a dedicated snow strategy. I don't think. Um, additionally, it's really hard to play things like cryptic command in the same deck as anything trying to do snow. I think, uh, especially if it's three colors, because you're going to want to be searching out basics with Prismatic Vis Vista. But on turn four, you can only have one non-island basic and still cast Cryptic and still cap cast Cryptic Command. Um, if you have Archmage's Charm, which we did, um, it's almost even harder because you uh, need no no non-blue lands. You know, so it's it's this weird ebb and flow where like you're trying to balance your mana base and also probably like get a, a mixture of snow lands as well you know what i mean um either way sammy really appreciate you uh letting me play this deck thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate that slam those like and subscribe buttons if you want to have a deck critique by me definitely check out my twitch page or my patreon page you can find the links down below in the description along with links to coolstuffinc.com where I have new articles every Wednesday to manatraders.com where you can find 20% off the first three months of any subscription. And uh, as usual, you'll find the deck list, the final deck list in the um, description below. So slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you next time.